All right. For today's tutorial, we are going to use Wireshark in order to monitor wireless traffic using Backtrack. So let's get started. Okay, so go ahead and open up a console, and we're going to start with an IF config. And using IF config, we can see the interfaces that are currently available. Currently, we've got our Ethernet zero interface, our loopback interface, and our WLAN. Uh, interface and uh, personally I don't like to have all these extra interfaces so I go ahead and shut down the ones that I'm not going to be using so I'll do an IF config ETH0 down uh, another IF config WLAN0 down because I'm not going to be using the inter or integrated uh, wireless adapter um, I will be using a secondary wireless adapter so I'm yeah, but by default that's down so uh, I go ahead and do an IF config WLAN1 up to enable that wireless adapter and uh, do another IF config just to be able to look at what we have now and as you can see we only have our loopback and our WLAN1 interfaces um, so then we'll do a W or IW list and uh, then specify our interface, so WLAN1, and then scanning. And that will show us all of the uh, wireless access points that are currently available and within range of my wireless adapter. Um, since we specified the wire, WLAN1 adapter, that's going to be my uh, external USB wireless adapter, my alpha adapter. Um, so go ahead and look through these networks here. We're trying to find mine, which is Hacknet. Uh, that's CL, um, CL, Shoe Girl. I bet she's a winner. Hacknet. Here we go. So uh, looks like we are on channel six. And so what we're gonna want to do is we want to set my wireless adapter. Okay. So for those of you that actually were able to get the uh, Wi-Fi Analyzer app on your Android device, um, this will also tell you the channel for uh, any particular wireless network. Uh, all you have to do is go ahead and take a look at your specific SSID. Ours is this blue one. It says Hacknet right at the top. And uh, then go directly down below it to the uh, number in the very middle, and that's going to be 6. So once again on channel 6. Um, also in addition to that, we can look right here and it tells us SSID, SSID Hacknet, um, the MAC address, MAC address associated with it, with and, it channel and channel 6. So we want to go ahead and set our adapter to the same channel that the wireless access point that we're wanting to sniff the packets from is on. So we're going to do an iwconfig and then a WLAN1 and channel and then specify the channel that the wireless access point is on which in our case Hacknet is on channel 6 uh, then another IWconfig and then we're going to spec we're going to go ahead and connect to the network now so we'll do a WLAN1 and then ESSID and then Hacknet in parentheses since that is the SSID of the network and then uh, if we did have a key or if it was encrypted then uh, this is where we would enter it with key and then followed by the key but since we don't we'll go ahead and connect to it without um, my security is currently disabled on the router so we should be able to connect like that uh, then we do have to configure the interface so an IF config and WLAN 1 and then we need to put an IP address in so 192.168.2.4 so we can put it in the same range as the default IP for our router um, subnet mask of 255, 255, 255, 0 and then we will go ahead and ping our default IP address for a router which is 192.168.2.1 to verify that we do have connectivity and we do as you can see so we'll go ahead and close that out and we can go ahead and open up Wireshark now with a uh, Wireshark and sign and that will open up the GUI interface for Wireshark uh, once that's opened up you'll you'll probably get a warning that tells you that it could be dangerous to run Wireshark as the root user but uh, gotta live life on the wild side sometimes right oh shoot uh, I forgot to uh, set up our monitoring adapter. So let's go ahead and go back into the console. And what we need to do is, uh, uh, sorry, no, not not error dump. Um, we need to do a uh, Airmon, Airmon and G, for uh, to enable monitoring mode, promiscuous mode. And then we need to do a start. 
and then WLAN1 to specify the interna or interface that we want to enable monitoring on. And then we do an IF config, and as you can see, we have a new interface, which is our MON0 interface, and that's uh, our monitoring interface. So now we can go back into Wireshark and click Start under Monitoring um, Packets on the MON0 interface. And as you can see, we are now collecting packets on that interface. Uh, now you might be wondering, would it be possible to actually collect packets from that interface if we weren't actually connected to the wireless access point, since I did connect to that. Uh, and, and the answer is actually yes, as long as you are on the same channel as the wireless access point is, you can sniff traffic without it even being connected. Um, so we'll go ahead and prove that real quick by uh, taking down our interface. Um, if you want to disassociate yourself from a wireless access point, just take down the interface. So I have config WLAN1 down, I have config WLAN1 up, and uh, here we go, I have config WLAN1. Oh wait, hold on, we'll have to do a IW config WLAN1, and that will show us there we go, access point none associated. So uh, we are not currently connected to any access point. And then we'll go ahead and open up Wireshark one more time and you will see that we are still collecting packets and sniffing packets. So that pretty much covers it. That shows uh, how within Backtrack you can use Wireshark to sniff wireless packets. You guys have a good one.